Clint, hurry up! It's almost on! What is the rush? Show doesn't start till 2 o'clock. No, 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 but you're going to want to see this as well. Today marks the end of 43 years of love and loss, life and death, collegiate and connubial bliss, as we bid farewell to our beloved daytime drama, Fraternity Row. Before its final episode begins, we'll reflect back on its groundbreaking history and learn from its devoted fans what made it so memorable to so many people the world over. Welcome to the Blanca Show's special tribute, Fraternity Row, a fond farewell. So remind me again why we didn't get together sooner. Because we're idiots? No. We're stubborn. Big headed. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Big headed? Yeah. Okay. Then we turned a corner, right? Miles ago. Just be careful, Bob, all right? I'm fine, honey, you know. It's gonna take more than a bullet to stop me. It's not the bullet she's worried about. It's oh. David. David? Oh. He's in there. He wants to surprise you, which means probably strippers, sirens, and confetti cannons. Or hookers. What? He's done that before. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Shall we? You know you're Jewish, right? I'm just covering all the bases. Fraternity Row viewing parties are gathering as we speak, assembled by loyal fans across the country. They're preparing to say goodbye to Brandon and Brianna, Gilda and Gregor, and Ruby and Roxanne, and of course, their bowed but never broken heroine, Lorraine King von Vandenberg Dexter Beaumont. We're the hot swords, where only dreams dare go. Where desires roars, it's all on Fraternity Row. Hey, come on in. Why am I the only one who was dressed in costume? I was gonna come as Dash Dunning, but Little D thought it was stupid. Well, you're too tall. Where's everyone else? Is Rex coming? Hey. Hey! Hey, did you guys come to watch the show with us? Actually, we came to say goodbye. We're leaving Landview. It's with Bane and my ex-wife, Taya. They're on to me. What do they know? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Maybe everything. You can't take any chances. I'll have Delgado move today. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I'm not gonna lose everything. I'm gonna try to work so hard to get it all back. Star? Hey! Come on in and sit down, sweetie. Join us. I, I will. I just, um... I need to tell you something first, all of you, actually. What's up? I don't know how to say this. Say what, sweetheart? I'm moving. Across town? No. To Los Angeles. And we're going to watch the, the finale of Fraternity Row. You want to come? That show's just a little grown up for Liam. No, are you kidding? He knows all the characters' names. You should uh, come. Come on. Well, uh, you know, I already know what's going to happen. How? Did you read the spoiler? You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. I have no idea what you're even talking about. I'm just assuming that things, I don't know, people always end up having a happy ending. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you're right. You going to be home later? 
Yeah, home. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, as if you don't already know, I'm a fraud, a failure, a complete embarrassment to our family. We've never held that against you. I'm box office poison. The boy with the chipmunk tattoo bombed. I don't believe it. I loved it. You saw it? Yeah. Twice. You know, I thought it was great. If only the people at Movies Without Sympathy agreed with you. They said that my movie was derivative of another Swedish thriller that had a tattoo in it, which is completely absurd. That movie was about a girl and it was a completely different tattoo. Well, there'll be other movies. Then why is my agent Bev Altman not returning my calls? Because I'm sure she's busy fielding other offers. Why is the maitre d' at the Palace restaurant seating me by the bathroom? It's better than seating you in the bathroom. Why is Judith Light snubbing me at the Fraternity Row rap party? I mean, can you believe that? She's a television actress. Oh, I got nothing. It's that cursed show. Everything would be fine. My life, my marriage, my career. If only I had saved that infernal soap opera. So you're telling us that Rex is hitting the road the same day Fraternity Row was going off the air? That's cold. Imagine if one of us did that to Mom. You know we would catch hell. Well, I'm sure it wasn't an easy decision. I mean, I know how much Rex loves you. I gotta sit down. I have just the spot. Front and center for Fraternity Row. First, we'll bid our favorite program adieu. And then I'll help you bid au revoir to Rex. You're leaving today? We know it's last minute. This thing, we have a ton of stuff to do. There's not a lot of time to do it. We have to find a place to live. No, you don't. There's plenty of room at the compound in Mayfair. Your brothers will put out the welcome mat. And I'm sure that Kelly will be very happy to have another woman in the house. If she can keep her clothes on. That's very generous, Clint. Thank you. Well, when you get there, thank me. There's no telling you'll even make it to the airport. Clint is right. It's one thing to get past us. You still have to get past your sister. McBain. You sure? You got it from the bug on Manning's phone. Tell me everything. Jailbait the music video went viral, so the label wants me to record an album with them. They want me to fly to LA and start as soon as possible. <gasps> Somebody say something. What about James? James wished me well, and, um... Cole is gone now, so. What about what about Hope? I mean, how long do you plan to be away from your daughter? Oh no, Hope, Hope is coming with me. Langston and Marco offer to help. Sweetheart, are you. What about school? Are you gonna just drop out? S school will always be there, and this may be the only chance I have to to follow my dream for it to come true. Don't you love us anymore? <laughs> of course I love you. I love all of you. I'm gonna miss you so much, but it's not forever. I'll be back. <laughs> I hope that you'll be happy for me. Of course we're happy for you. Yeah, this this is great, Star. Congratulations. I would love your support. You're not going to get it. You will move to Los Angeles, California over my dead body. <laughs>